Hi everybody, welcome to our WBC All Age Service. Now, whether you normally see us at Messy Church or maybe on a Friday or maybe on a Sunday, all three of those things, we hope you're going to have a great time with us right now. So, before we start, all our fun and our games and our songs and, and some magical stuff going on, oh, some really magical stuff going on, let's just say a quick prayer and make sure that God is with us through this. So, are you ready? Put your hands up. Are you ready? And we go for... Not yet. Wait a second. One, two, three, four. A five is very quiet. And we just like to say, dear Jesus, please be with us right now. Help us to worship you. Help us to have lots of fun. And help us to learn something new about you today. We thank you that wherever we are, we can be together with you. Amen. Right, so, I'm sure you've got loads of energy. So, we're going to do a song. Are you ready? What song do you think it is? Mm. Well, I believe there's plenty of fruits. Let's hand it over and let's see what's next. Hey kids, so I thought we'd do a song we all know really well. The Fruit of the Spirit, whether you've been a messy church or you've been to an all-age service or even a Friday night, we've done it there. You'll know really well. Okay, so we're going to start with coconut. Are we ready? Let's go! somebody you know I did right well let's just sit down for a second take a rest and let's listen to what we're known has got to tell us from the Bible 
Take it away, Winona. Hi everyone, today's reading is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. For God made Christ, who never sinned, to be the offering for our sin, so that we could be made right with God through Christ. Amen. Wow, isn't it amazing what God can do? Thanks so much, Winona, for that. Right, so you've had a little rest now, and I think, I think, I think she's ready. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, she's ready. We're going to have a game with Kaylee. So, might be a little bit of magic as well involved with this. So, are you ready? Stand up, get ready to go, and over to Kaylee. Hey kids, it's me, Kaylee. We're going to play a game. But first, I need to put on my game hosting jacket. Let's go! Whew. There we go, all ready. Okay, we're going to play a game called Colour Snap. And all you have to do is match the colour with the one I am thinking of. Okay, so I'm going to use my beautiful assistant to show you what I mean. So we've gathered some objects. We've got a red one, an orange one, a yellow one, a purple one, a blue one, and a pink one. So all you have to do is gather some objects to match those colours. And then when we start the timer, you have to select one of your objects. So we'll have a timer, about 10 seconds, and then you'll pick up one of your objects. So my object is... Pink. And if the background is pink, when I have my pink object, I will score one point. So, are you ready? You get it. It's pretty easy. You'll pick it up as we go along. Okay, we're going to start in three, two, one. Okay, so you now have 30 seconds to go and grab the objects that match the colours that I'm going to put on the screen now. Go! you've got all your objects together what I'm going to do is give you a 10 seconds to decide which one you're going to choose and then if it matches the background you'll get the point let's go okay our first color is red so if you have your red object in your hand right now you get one point okay let's go again You get one point. Let's go again. This time we have blue. So if you have your blue item, give yourself one point. We're going to have round four now. in your hand you know the score one point let's go again okay i hope you've got your objects ready let's see what the color is three two one it's pink give yourself a point if you've got your pink object and let's go again Let's see what colour it's going to go. Orange. So if you have your orange object, you get one point. Let's go again. Okay, our next colour. Oh, we cheated. It's orange again. Hope you still have your orange object for another point. It's yellow! So you get 
one point if you've got your yellow object. Let's have another round. Okay, let's reveal our next colour. It's red. So you win one point if you've got your red object. Let's play again. Now what the next colour is going to be? Oh, it's purple and blue. So if you have the purple or the blue object, you get one point. Let's play again. Okay, let's find out our final colour. It's pink. So if you had your pink object, give yourself one point. But unfortunately, that's the end of our game. I've had so much fun playing with you. I really hope that you'll add up your points and post them in the comments below. But for now, see you soon. Bye. Right. Was that great? It was, wasn't it? I'm ready. Are you ready? You're probably not yet. Grab a cushion, maybe a blanket. Don't know what it's like out there. And get cosy, because we're going to watch a story. Are you ready? Yeah. See you on the other side. God's masterpiece. God is with us. This is Jesus. Hey, oh! Jesus is the Savior of the world and the Son of God. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms. <laughs> and even raised people from the dead. Uh, wahoo! But some people did not like what Jesus was doing. <laughs> and they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! For he was risen. He was alive. Woohoo! Huh? hey -oh. ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. <laughs> he taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. Jesus told his disciples that he did all the things that God had told everyone that he would do, and the disciples understood what he was saying. Yep, that makes sense. He told them that he would send the Holy Spirit, just as God had promised to be their helper. Sounds good. After Jesus had spent 40 days with the disciples and appeared to many people, Hey, that's it! He led the disciples to a place called Bethany. Jesus blessed the disciples and told them to go out and tell the whole world about him and the good news of forgiveness and make disciples of them. Then he said, be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Then Jesus was taken into heaven to sit at the right hand of God. Not long after that, the Holy Spirit did come to the disciples to be their helper. The disciples knew that God would truly be with them always. And the Holy Spirit is still with us today, for Jesus promised that he would be with us to the end of the age, and he is. Hey kids, so I thought we'd have today is a little bit of magic and a story. So we remember, Last time we were here, we had Easter. And I thought I'd tell you a bit of a story that follows on from there. Now, our story begins a long, long time ago, when there was God. Fortunately for us, God created all of us. Now, the original idea was life was perfect, and you had God 
and you had us. And it was a perfect relationship. Now, unfortunately, those of you who remember our stories that we talk about, when we start in the Bible, sin came into the world. And we remember with Adam and Eve and the serpent and how it tricked them. And unfortunately, that's the point. Sin got between us and God. Sin stopped us having a perfect relationship. And that could have been the end of the story. That could have been how things happened. Sin got into each of our lives and turned it from a perfect thing to this messy, horrible thing. This thing that causes us to mess up all the time. How many of us have been naughty and mean and bad and done wrong things? That's the sin in our lives. But we're really fortunate because God's got a plan. God's always got a plan. God has got a son. God's son is called Jesus. We talk about Jesus a lot. Now, Jesus, last month when we talked about the uh, Easter story and how Jesus died for us, what Jesus did was he took every one of our sins on himself and he made us pure again. He took all of that on him so that we could have that relationship both with him and with God. Now, that's really good and we've learned that lesson. And once you ask Jesus into your life and you become a Christian, this is where you become. But we've got to remember that we're not just talking about us. We've got family and we've got friends and I bet you know people that don't know Jesus. The interesting thing is, Jesus didn't just do that for us. Jesus took all the sins of the world on himself. And he took that sin away. Jesus became the pure and perfect sacrifice for all of us. Jesus conquered death. When we talk about the Easter story and we remember a month ago, what Jesus did when he died for us, he took that sin and he took it away forever. Jesus took it and allowed that relationship to still be there when we become Christians and when all of us become Christians. He takes that pure and perfect sacrifice and makes us whole again, the way we were in the beginning, with Jesus, God, and with us. Now the question is for you, what do you do with that? You can remember that, and you can believe that. But what I'm telling you now, is what I think, is that if you believe that, and you believe Jesus did that for you, I don't think there's anybody you will want to tell. So what I want you to do is think about this. And think about somebody who doesn't know Jesus and doesn't know about coming to us on a Friday night when we're all back together and Sunday mornings and messy church and our all-age services. And I want you to tell them a story. And they might not believe it to start with. But keep telling them. Our God is perfect and he's got a plan for us. And I want you to remember that. Okay, kids, well, there we go. I hope you really enjoyed that. We've just got time for one more song, so let's go over to the music.
the truth that set me free. How could this world be a better place? But by thy mercy, by thy grace, kiss all I want in this lifetime. Wow, wasn't that an amazing song? Did you have fun too? Well, I'm afraid we're coming to the end. Remember what Chris said, who are you going to tell? Yeah? That is your mission for this week. Let's just end in a quick prayer. Are you ready? Warm your fingers up, warm the arms up. One, two, three, two, three, four and five. Dear God, I just thank you that you provide us with everything we need. Help us have an amazing week and help us to remember what Chris said and share what we know about you to other people. Amen. Brilliant, guys. See you soon. Bye.